Uh, cigarette and tobacco consumption increases your risk of complications after hip replacement surgery in two different ways. There's the complications that are related to the wound itself, um, so um, wound infection uh, and breakdown uh, because the um, skin edges and the tissues are slower to heal in someone who's consuming cigarettes. Um, and there's also those complications that are not related to the wound, um, for instance, um, lung pathologies and pneumonias, um, deep venous thrombosis are also increased by cigarette consumption. What we do know is that the benefits of smoking reduction or cessation are gained um, quite early on um, in terms of surgical risk mitigation. So even if you can reduce your cigarette smoke even just a little bit or even reduce your cigarette smoking quite close to the time of surgery, um, some benefit will be gained. Obviously, the earlier you can cut back and the more you can cut back, the greater the benefit you will observe. Um, but every little bit counts, so even a small amount of reduction is worthwhile. The nicotine in tobacco products is very highly addictive, so it wouldn't be all that uncommon that we would see people struggle quite a lot with their efforts to be able to reduce their tobacco consumption in the perisurgical space. So what I'd recommend uh, is that if you uh, want to be able to increase your likelihood of being able to reduce your tobacco consumption in a uh, in a meaningful way, um, get some advice and I think go to your GP and they'd be more than happy to be able to assist you and they'd have a lot of um, different options, products and programs um, at your disposal to be able to assist you in your reduction in tobacco consumption prior to surgery.